I'm starting a new survival adventure in fantasy RPG. I decided that I want to play some single player, but not just ordinary Minecraft, I wanted it a bit more of a challenge. Fantasy RPG offers exploration, new structures, OP loot, boss fights, quests, skill tree and so on. Anyways, make sure to grab your favorite snack, sit back, relax as I take on fantasy RPG. Before we create the world, let's use the best seed, perfect. I'm also going to play on hard as I want to get far into this mod pack and not just post 3 episodes and die to fall damage or whatever. Mostly I want to explore it and just have fun see how far we can get into it. Okay now this is pretty insane. Look how many origins there is to choose from. There's literally 2 pages. The ones that caught my eye was either the yeti which offers in icy biomes, yeti moves faster and negate fall damage, frost breath of yeti slows down opponents that get close, you also get extra bonus health, we're slightly taller and wider, not too bad to be honest, or the wood elf which offers aura's visions which means if we crouch we have night vision and tall grass or leaves becoming undetectable to nearby mobs, we also track enemy for a short time after damaging them, we're slightly taller and we get bonus speed however our damage is slightly reduced. Hard decision but I went with the wood elf as it offers speed which will definitely be beneficial when roaming the map. My main objective of this episode was to explore the map, find some resources, get a decent sized backpack as it'll get full pretty quickly and maybe go mining for some new ores. I realized that my guy is slightly taller and faster. These are some cool shoulder guards. Anyways, you know how it goes. Started punching this unbreakable 4 tree. I mean, how does this make any sense? After 20 minutes, we finally took the tree boss down and got plenty of wood. Worth it. Thought I found some diamonds, but no luck. Instead, we got some red mushrooms. Discovered this cool roll effect, which will be definitely useful. I also thought that I found a glitch when I crouched, but I realized that the wood elf goes invisible beside leaves. Played some level 1 pigs. Any food is good at the moment. Nearly died to this weird cobblestone thing. That wasn't fun. Some more food. Spotted this cool building in the distance but it was kinda impossible to get to. And another one in the sky. But at the minute my objective was to get a bed. Find Mr. Owl. Give him a fist bump. Anyways time to do some crafting. Made a crafting bench and a wooden pickaxe. Started gathering some cobblestone for some better tools. We ain't noobs around here. Perfect. Got some more wood. This time was much faster. I also spotted this incredible castle in the distance, definitely gonna check it out at some stage. The sun was setting and I still didn't have a bed, only managed to get two sheep. Although we find a village though, God is real. Also Creeper came to say hi. And Mr. Skeleton, they're not very friendly. Was hoping that they'll have a spare bed for me, but instead I found this dude sleeping so I had to show him where the boss is. In the morning, find some company, this time this Creeper was on my team. I tried to fight this orc, see how much damage he does, until I decided to say goodbye, have a great time. Started raiding their entire village, see what else they have. Was hoping that it's not the same system as Dawncraft, meaning if I bully these villagers or raid them, they'll not be very friendly with me and I basically would have to restart the game. I think it's okay. Find some emeralds, more emeralds. I took their anvil, might come handy. Couldn't find an entrance to this main building, so I done my own. Nothing really around here so far. This villager had his birthday but nobody came, so I stole some cake. Find a perfect place for a temp base. Nice and cozy, it'll definitely work for now before we build our own base. Find a couple of books, decided to put all my stuff away, free up some inventory, and open the tutorial book about runics, basically saying that we can smelt our legendary weapons and receive remounts, and gems which we can place on other empty socket weapons to make them even more powerful, which we will look into more depth later on. Started to cook some food on the way, went to sleep in my new bedroom. Next morning I went to check out the rest of the village doing some parkour. They had a greenhouse but no food in it. They had a barn also which will definitely be useful. I found this cool tower in the distance, decided to go and check it out. Slaying everything that comes my way. Chickens will be useful for arrows. Look how beautiful this place looks. I love this extra speed. I was a bit scared to enter in case there's some mob I didn't know about. Took the smithing table, it'll be useful for weapons and armor. Also some charcoal, why not? 
Went the chest with some shards, some potions too. Enchanted book to flag 3, lovely. Stole all the crops, food is gonna be important. I spotted another really interesting building like a Japanese temple. It was a pillager outpost, he doesn't know my sword skills. I found this guy lonely locked up, thought he could definitely give me a hand with these guys. Rescued him, level 3 iron golem, you're free broski. At this moment, he knew he f***ed up. I took some wood so I can climb if anything, while he shows them who the boss is. Okay, my dude is admiring the view while I was 2v1 here. Thanks, buddy. Made my own entrance to this temple. I was scared that there would be a Vindicator in here somewhere. Luckily, it was empty. Found a chest full of stuff. Of course, inventory is full. Another chest full of stuff. Yeah, we're gonna need a backpack ASAP. Started throwing some random stuff away to take some of the useful things from the chests. I found a legendary iron claymore sword. That's definitely a good find. Seen this rustic abandoned village. Took some hay bales for my cows as I'm sure I'm gonna need leather for a backpack. Found a chest with more emeralds. Went back to my base to restock. This inventory is definitely gonna be a problem. Also checked up some quests, which I got some rewards. Set a waypoint so I don't lose my house. Searched up for some backpack options, see what we need to craft one. There was this small backpack, four leather on a chest. That's pretty cheap. Went to check out this cool castle, realizing it's a pillager castle. These guys are everywhere. Peeked through the window, realizing that I will probably most likely die if I enter. Maybe next time. Slaughtered a couple of cows and finally got myself a small backpack. However, I was extremely disappointed that I used a whole chest for this backpack with three inventory slots. Like what? I found out that there's a skill tree system, which I'm definitely excited about. All these different tiers that you can build your character towards, but I think I'm gonna go for the wafer, which gives us melee damage, range damage, and movement speed. Sounds pretty good. I have three skill points, so I decided to use them up. Spent some time also checking out these quests. There's so many, we'll definitely not be bored. Anyways, time to enter some structures. This one is pretty cool. I don't know why I wanted to kill this rabbit so much, but it was some fight. Was pretty terrified as I didn't know what to expect entering it. Then I got jumped by these weird mana leashes. They weren't too hard to kill. Just had some lapis, food and ancient scrolls. Continued to explore, finding some more chests with food and resources. Then I spotted this weird mob in the distance. Firstly, it looked like a hand of some sort, but shortly realized that it was a bird. He looked super cool and he's also tameable, which will definitely be an awesome pet. Once we get a saddle, we're getting this guy. I tried to feed him some berries, but he refused. Not sure what they eat. Found this wandering villager in his cabin. Easy raid. Then this zombie decided to play a hero. Easy fight. His baby deserves to die too. Find another village with a cool structure. Trying really to just gather as much resources as I can. Don't know what this was doing. Got some armor from this guy. Sorry, dude. Then this happened. At first, I was like, what did I just do? Shortly realizing that this lightning strike was actually my sword. This sword is actually insane. Continued to climb, however, I wasn't prepared as my temperature was getting to me. Once again, more pillagers. This time, I tried to fight them, but I seen a witch and I wasn't ready to die. I needed better gear to start entering more of these bigger structures. Found another one of these towers. This candle was heating up my body, which was nice. This time, I was prepared for these guys. You like my sword, huh? Randomly, a witch decides to say hi, not in a friendly way. Once again, another pillager structure. Tried shooting it with my crossbow. I killed a few, but didn't know what to expect inside this hole. I seen a witch, so I didn't really feel like dying just yet. I'm a guy, yeah, I know. But I was level 30, and I didn't want to lose it all like that. Look at the speed we have. And this sword as well, it looks amazing. Anyways, I restocked again. Tried to figure out how to get this Freyer backpack, but it seems like you need to get this one in order to upgrade it. Also, some more skill points towards range damage and more speed. Made some iron boots. Then finally, I realized once I scrolled down, it has a recipe. Which I straight away wanted to get this one. I managed to craft one and it was slightly better. But now at least we can upgrade this one and have more space eventually. More random chest, find a golden apple which will definitely be useful. Anyways, I thought it was time to do some mining and find some cool ores that we could use to craft some better tools and armor. There was some insane amount of mobs, but I'm just too cracked so no trouble there. These spider physics though, pretty cool. Find some new ores straight away. My main objective was to get as much ores as I can, especially iron, gold and diamond, so I can instantly upgrade my backpack, killing more and more mobs, which is good because I feel like we get skill points. Find this weird thing, but I guess I need a better pickaxe for it. Also, look at this guy. That's pretty insane. I can't imagine him blowing up when there's loads of mobs around. Find some ore that we can make a windmill with. 
so many new ores, but I'm sure it'll be useful for something. Set up a wee spot here to smell some iron. This way I can upgrade my backpack and make some leggings. Remember this screen that I'm showing you right now. It'll be for later on. Anyways, we got ourselves an iron backpack. That gave us an additional row, not too bad. I checked out some other tools I could have crafted with some of the new ores I found. Seeing this pickaxe is pretty good and I might be able to craft it soon enough. More skill points. And this is where this happened. Yep, my game froze and decided to crash on me. This is where this screen comes to play. Now, I was far deep in strip mining, and I was extremely annoyed that all the progress was lost. However, after rejoining, thankfully everything was fine and we didn't lose anything. Continued to strip mine a bit more, and finally got myself a gold backpack. Next one is a diamond one, but we will need emeralds for it too, which we have plenty in the house. I found this interesting ore, kind of like a roulette ore. You can get some random ores from it, which is pretty cool. I got into some cave and I finally found my diamond. Unfortunately, only one and I needed four, but still better than nothing. Another pretty cool cave with my friend Creeper chilling. Also found this moonstone, which means we can make this pickaxe. That's much better. Looks pretty nice as well. This is where I got a mini heart attack, but all good. I'm a professional. This speed is good, but it can also kill you at the same time. But we need more speed. Some skeleton spawner. Show them who the boss is around here. Look at that sexy thing. An epic mechanical short bow. We're gonna have to start crafting some arrows. Finally, after like an hour of mining, I finally find some diamonds. Was super excited as you can tell. That was enough mining. Coming out, I entered this insanely large cave. Like, look at the size of this place. My inventory was full though, so I'm still climbing out. Just before we go, I seen these redstone lamps. Cool stuff. And we're finally out. Forgot how good this game looks. Perfect place to build a base too. Look at this place. Next episode, we're going to be building an actual base beside this forest. Set myself a marker so I don't lose it. Made a bunch of chests to restock my inventory. Decided that I'm going to move, so I went back to my temp base to take all my stuff. Also the diamond backpack. Let's go. Now we're talking. Look at the size of it. Anyways, packed my backpack and headed back to where the real base will be. And I guess I'll call it an episode. Got what I needed in it, which was mainly the backpack and just figure out this mod pack. I'm really enjoying it so far and I can't wait to build my base and actually kill some bosses. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed watching, please drop a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.